freak, ugly, weirdo, pathetic, attention seeker, slot, retard, psycho, artist, depression. It's such a complex thing. Sometimes there is absolutely no reason why someone would have it. And then sometimes there is a perfectly sensible reason why someone would have it. Whether it's any of those insults you heard at the start being too much, being rejected by someone, not getting the promotion you wanted, Sitting there on your own while the person you despise is the center of attention. Or just feeling absolutely worthless in yourself. Depression is... It's so... Brutal and it's just a very cruel but real thing. Each case of depression is different in everybody, whether it's diagnosed by a professional or not. There are so many reasons why you could have it. It could be because you didn't pass that test, or God forbid, it could be because certain people or a certain person could have forced themselves onto you. You have no proof it happened, and there is no way you can get justice. And what's even worse is that person could turn around and say stuff like, Oh, that person's a slut or whatever. Um, he or she jumped on, you know... They do that with anyone, even though that's not the truth at all. That's just one example. I myself, thankfully, don't have depression, but I know a lot of people that do have it. And I especially know even more that did have it. There's always that feeling when you're going through a monotonous, repetitive existence despite how shit you feel and you keep having to be okay and just fine and it keeps going and going and going and it keeps getting miserable until one day you just want to fucking snap and destroy something i bet that everyone with depression has felt that at least once if not five fucking <laughs> times some awful incidents that resulted from depression really need no introduction. Whether it's people taking their own lives through suicide, or feeling that the world has betrayed them so they go on a school shooting, or any sort of shooting in general, or just recluding in their own existence being honestly miserable while the rest of the world gets on with their lives but these poor people feel like no one cares about them because they're on their own whether people that feel that put themselves in this position or have been put in this position through rejection or exclusion it's still the same dark feeling and that would result in an even bigger feeling of not being able to escape. Hearing shit in your head constantly that puts you down, belittles you, and makes you feel worthless. It's just awful. And that is where depression strikes. It keep, It's like a negative gun that has unlimited ammunition. It just keeps firing and firing and firing. And it keeps making the mental or physical wounds bigger. From what I know and the bits I felt of depression in the past, 
the way I would describe it is this poisonous feeling that never ever escapes your mind. It's like being stuck in a place, but that place is full of negativity, insults, criticisms, and nothing positive in the slightest. And there is no key, no escape, no relief. Before I move on, I would like to explain the one incident in my life that I honestly feel I did have true depression. This was way back in 2011 when I went to the first secondary school that I went to. I'm not going to name it here. But I had pretty much no friends in there and I was stuck in the place for a month on my own, no one to talk to, and not being able to be myself at all. And this was in first year. A year that you're truly going from, you know, childhood to adolescence through puberty, where feelings would be even stronger, and stuff like hormones would be absolutely uncontrollable. So to be in a place like that, where there was honestly no one besides my family there for me it was tough and i'll be honest in that time in 2011 i contemplated ending it all but that's not what this video is about after that sad month in that place um i went to a different school i actually made friends and life did become better but that's another point i want to address in this video it does get better but not after a bunch of shit happens first. For those watching that have depression, that feel worthless, and that feel that no one is there for them, and that no matter what they try, do, or say, they'll always feel the same way. I'm so, so sorry for you. It's, it's tough, and you you probably have it way worse than I ever did. But what really annoys me is when people are so optimistically blind that they feel, not feel, but they think that, oh, depression's not that bad. He or she's doing it for attention, only an attention seeking. Yeah, how about before you start making accusations like that, you actually know the person, or you actually have a look at what they're truly feeling? Accusations like that are so ignorant and honestly insulting. Like, that's probably a reason why depression has gotten worse in the last, I don't know, decade. Because of accusations like that, because of ignorance. Yes, there probably is a small percentage of people that put it on or act it, but I'm guaranteeing you that there's a hell of a lot more that truly feel it. But they hide it inside so that accusations that are bullshit like that one don't form. A lot of opinions and mindsets are formed because of the way we're raised in society. And that mindset that depression is put on, oh, these teenagers don't know what life was really like, they're just... Anyone that says something like that, without me getting vulgar, you're just blind and ignorant, to be honest, like I said previously. Like, depression is a very, very real thing, and people do feel it, because... I honestly think that people these days have a lot more pressure than they did back in the day, especially because of things like social media. It's much harder to stand out, it's harder to be your own person, because it's, I don't know, it's just, back in the day, like years and years ago, medieval times for instance, if you were the only blacksmith in the town, that was your purpose. You were the blacksmith. You were the person to go to for that blacksmith job. 
Nowadays, it just doesn't feel like that. Machines do a lot more, for example. And my point is, it's harder to have a purpose because of that. It's harder to be your own person. Sure, institutions like schools, factories, whatever, make it hard to stand out. Make it hard for you to be your own person because of that. It creates a strong lack of purpose. And maybe if a person is living a mundane as fuck existence like that, especially when they're not included into those places, social groups, then why do you think people like that are going to feel like shit? No purpose and no group. They're going to feel worthless. That's a big part of where this worthless feeling comes from. It's horrible and no wonder a lot of people feel it. While I do believe that depression is mostly an inner conflict, an inner disorder that a person truly has, it's not all inner. A lot of the time there's a cause for it. Maybe in school someone has been bullied to the point of depression. Maybe someone is going through heartbreak or someone, God forbid, has been cheated on. Whatever the case may be, like, it does really happen. I'm so sick of it being ignored in favour of fake positivity. I, for one, am a positive person, but not so blind to push away negativity that exists. There is no point. It'll never get better. It's always going to be the same. He or she or they are better than me. I'm awful. No one likes me. I'm a piece of vomited shit. I want to end it. It's bad enough that more than one person on this planet has to say those things about themselves every single day of the year. It's bad that they have to feel like that and actually feel that on this planet that's all they are, those insults. And it's even fucking worse when people don't give it the attention that it deserves. Like, yeah, the world doesn't be doesn't need to be a super negative ball that always shows light on depression, but you don't need to ignore it either. It is real. People feel worthless, and there's a reason why people are dying by their own methods. I'm sorry if that sounds harsh, but that's the very reality of this world. And to be honest, I think stuff like mental health services need to do more of an effort to not fix people, but allow them to feel good about themselves instead of just throwing medication at them all the time. Yeah, that does work, but it's temporary. What people are more looking for is a permanent solution. And yes, that is very, very hard to come across, especially in certain cases of people. But it's not unavo- It's not- It's not unreachable. There is a way out. There's always a way to become happy, no matter how hard life, life gets. As long as I live, I am never, ever going to change that mindset. Especially when so many people I know and love have been through depression, have battled it, still battling it, but are still here on this planet every single day living life like the rest of us. That's what I call true fucking strength. People that battle depression all the time, but still make an effort to be here that aren't gone, that still take care of other people and be there for them despite having the inner conflict of depression within themselves. If that's not strength, then I don't know what is. And 
yeah, there are a lot of people that cause others to have depression with or without knowing it. I mean, it's great fun slagging friends and being slagged back and having fun because there's that sense of community and trust there that none of the slags have actual meaning. It's just a joke. But for those that actually do bully others or just belittle someone in spite or just not include them or just make other people feel awful one fuck off and two you are the fucking people that this world doesn't need not the people battling depression everyone in this world is needed for a reason but if you're gonna make others feel like shit then you're the ones that aren't needed in my opinion. Have some consideration when you're talking to other people and remember that others, especially weaker people, besides you, have feelings. God damn it, like. There's so much bullying going on, so much bitching, so much, like, shit stirring, like, it's actually really bad to be honest. That's not all that happens in conversation and socializing, thank God, but like have some consideration for the people that you call weirdo or freak or or molester or people that you bullshit about. Those are real people too, like, and they have like I said, they have feelings. Just have some goddamn consideration and remember that the world doesn't revolve around you and the bitch session that you're having with your friends. It revolves around the people being attacked by you as well, not just you. Jesus Christ. I understand that the world can't be positive all the time. But it doesn't need to be negative either all the fucking time. And it doesn't need shit steering either. Like I, like I said for the third time, have consideration, be a decent human being and make the world a better place and make people feel better, not worse. We want people to become better, to trust each other more, not the other way around. Having problems with our physical or mental image, body, whatever, we've all been there. I keep saying to fight on because with something as awful as depression, that's all you can really do. You can talk to someone, you can reach out to others, and you can keep going on. The fact that some of you are here listening and watching me talk about this, that may feel that you have depression yourselves, but you're still able to wake up every day and live through life. That is amazing to me. And I'm not just fucking saying that. That takes true strength and... Yeah, just... Just keep going on. To... You people deserve it. And life is just truly amazing. It's beautiful. It's too beautiful to live in a sad existence. Look all around you. Look at the amazing scenery, people, nature, things to do, technology, whatever it is, it's all there, ready to be loved. Not to be lived in a sad existence. Whether someone caused you depression or not, keep fighting, like I said. It's going to be fucking tough. It's never, ever easy. And while you may feel that it, there's never a way out, yes, there is. While I know a lot of people going through depression, I also know a lot of people that beat it. There is a way out. If there's anyone that makes you feel this way, that puts you down or whatever, prove them wrong. Or if there's anyone that did something awful to you and that's or spread rumors about you and that's why you feel that way prove them wrong be 
the best, most amazing, beautiful version of yourself you can be. Do not let them and depression beat you. That shit has taken too many lives for her to win again. All of you battling it but are still here are amazing fucking people because you have the strength to keep fighting. Keep doing that. Because that is truly strong. And reach out to us if you ever need any of us to reach out to you. We do want to be there, especially if we know what stakes are truly there. And once you do that, and once you do see the light at the end of the tunnel, it will be a beautiful light. And once you finally do become the best version of yourself, once you finally reach out and make life better, Give the biggest middle fucking finger to depression and people that made you feel that way. Fuck it. Fuck them. You don't deserve that. Especially those of you that actually do have depression. You don't need it. You deserve to live a beautiful, amazing life as well. Fight. Prove all the odds wrong and you will get that amazing life. No matter how long it takes, no matter how hard it is, it will come. It's a long, hard journey, but please keep going. You've already pushed through enough. You've already been through enough obstacles. You're too strong to let some more obstacles stop you. Depression is hard. It really is. But the people that fight it every single day and still keep going strong, they're harder than it. Thank you so much for watching this. I've wanted to talk about this topic for a while because I've heard so many people talking about their experiences with it and I never really talked about a dark topic like this before so I wanted to give my spin on it. Please reach out to people, please keep going, please fight and have a beautiful day. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.